Namaste guys, this is Ashmita and I'm back with ADT project for Crafters Corner and um, we've been playing with ice resin for the past couple of weeks and I wanted to do another one with a variation in um, as to how many different uh, different elements that can be created with the ice resin so what we are going to do is before we get on with the class we are going to mix our resin mixture and the resin that we, we, we've been using is by Susan Leonard Casmo and um, this is a jeweler's grade resin and when we say jeweler's grade it's that means it's the highest of qualities that are used by jewelers that is archival and which is not going to turn yellow unless the element that you are using the resin with is contaminated or not archival grade. So it comes like this in two jars. It has these two parts and they are labeled, labeled very conveniently as part A and part B and it does come with the mixing cups and the stirrers. So I'm going to quickly grab a mixing cup and a stirrer for myself and I'm going to take my part A first. So each time we do the ice resin, we need to mix these two parts together and we need to mix them in equal parts. So I'm taking, um, I'm going to first decide how much of the mixture that I'm going to need for my projects today and I think I'm going to mix a batch of um, 20 ml. So that means half of the 20 ml I'm going to need 10 ml of my part A and I'm going to pour it slowly. So I have more control on the amount of mixture that's falling into my container. That's it. Oops, I seal my... Seal my jar. And I'm going to grab part B. And I'm going to top it up all the way to 20. And I have 20 ml in my mixing cup there. So I'm going to grab my stirrer and I'm going to very carefully and gently stir in the two liquids together and I'm doing this really gently because I don't want to incorporate any bubbles in my mixture today because I'm going to be doing some transparent pieces and the bubbles in there would show. Okay, so now that my mixture is all blended together and you can see there are a couple of bubbles but I'm going to let this sit and I'm hoping that uh, most of them would pop off. I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to grab um, some regular packaging tape and the transparent kinds. You're going to need the transparent kinds. It's just some ordinary packaging tape and I'm going to take some like that and I'm going to cut a piece in my last video you had seen me create 
um, some resin pieces from the Martha Stewart molds. This is getting really unmanageable, so let me get in. Okay. So, uh, this is a frame that we had created using the Martha Stewart molds. And you can watch my previous video on how to create uh, these frames out of these molds. So, I'm going to place this resin piece onto my tape like so and I'm going to press it on really really well because I don't want any gap between the tape and my piece and I'm just going to cut the excess off And next step I'm going to do with this is I'm going to move it around on my surface so that I'm sure that I have the tape properly adhered to my piece and I don't have any gaps between the two like so. And then um, I picked up this little chair charm and what I did was it did come with a little shank on the top and I just chopped it off with my uh, wire cutter and I'm going to put this lay down this chair right into my frame and see if it fits like so doesn't that look neat so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my chair back out and uh, I'm going to grab my resin mixture and you can see it uh, doesn't have any of those bubbles anymore and I'm going to gently stir it once again and with my stirrer itself I'm going to apply some resin to the back of my charm here. And we have to make sure that our entire piece, the back of the charm is covered in the resin mixture. So now when that is done, I'm going to again drop my chair in and I'm going to make sure it's positioned correctly and right in the center where I want it. Like so and I'm going to start dropping the resin mixture into the frame and instead of pouring directly from the cup I'm using my stirrer to pour in the mixture this way I get more control over the quantity of uh, resin I have into my project And I'm very gently going to pour it all the way up to the top and not quite. I don't want the resin to leak off my project. So I'm going to bring it to my eye level and top off all the way to the edge of the frame. And you can see what I'm trying to create here. I'm trying to create a transparent um, bezel where you are going to be able to see the back 
uh, the background of this project as well. I have some extra, so I'm just going to swipe it off. And using the the tape, we are getting we can create a clear background for our pendants. So I'm going to move this aside and leave it to dry. And we are going to move on to our next project. So for the next piece, I'm going to be creating a locket with this um, with this little clock face, and this is from Prima. Again, I'm going to grab some of my tape. And I find it easier if I just use a, a waste piece of chipboard to hold that down. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to adhere this little piece onto the tape again like we did in the first one and I'm going to cut the excess off first. Once that's done, I'm just going to press as hard as I possibly can to make sure I get a good adherence of the tape and I don't get any uh, gaps in there because resin is liquid and it might flow out of your uh, the edges of your pieces if you don't adhere the tape properly to the back so now that is set in there and I have taken a little gear and I'm going to use a little brad and one of the clock faces like so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere the clock hands to the little gear here like so I'm just going to flatten out the rag and to make it even flatter I'm just going to press down with my thumb and similarly like the first one I'm going to add a little bit of resin to the back of my piece and then I'm going to take this entire contraption and I'm going to align it to the 12 and drop it in there like so And again with my stirrer, I'm going to gently top my piece up with the resin mixture. 